I think it's a very exciting time with all the new technology coming out, and I believe that the public will not only cope with it, but will thrive by choosing the best device for themselves and for their family. I think some of the public will be able to survive the rate of change because uh, not all the people are able to take uh, that kind of rate of change because they need a certain amount of mental toughness and the ability to change and uh, to uh, uh, change your old habits and a uh, new way of thinking and have a new mindset. This is time here and this is utility or complexity here. Anytime you invent something, you go through a period of over complexity and, and poor utility, which is because you're learning. And then after a while, you come back to the stable point, which is the optimal that you can reach. And I think currently on this data, we are probably here. We're going to keep collecting data. And as Chuck said, there will be a, a self-awareness the same way that when we got the first cell phones, we we're calling everywhere, everything, and realized that we need not to talk in a train. We need not to talk in an airplane and so on. And we learn socially. So I think the human social behavior will bring us back to this stable point. Well, what we're learning is users are engaging with media in entirely different ways. And 10 years ago, people watched a broadcast on their television set. Today, they're consuming uh, media over many different platforms and mobile up to home theaters. We need to be able to accommodate that. Broadcasting is definitely going to be playing an important role, but it may not be playing the only role in getting consumers the content they want. have to think about how we are going to spread our content everywhere for the next uh, decades in order to survive. We can't do everything all the time. We have to choose. And I think that uh, public service need to keep in mind that content is the key driver, not only technology. At the end of the day, the most significant challenge for broadcasters is to grasp the attention of the audience. It's about storytelling, it is about program, having good ideas. Media has always been about stories, about sharing stories with other people, and uh, the platforms are a very good way of sharing those uh, stories. And I think that the good thing with uh, the evolution of new technology is that we have uh, different and even better ways of telling a story, and that the audience now can interact with uh, the program makers and start some sort of dialogue about uh, the content they have seen. Because in the end it's about content, and especially relevant content, and that is in the end local content, that will do the job. And as long as you're good in that, and you're allowed to do that as a public service broadcaster, you're in business. Our children, more than us, expect to have every single type of content anywhere, anytime, and any device. You'll have the, the high quality, high efficiency encoding going to the home where the big screen, the cinema screen, screens are getting bigger as the days go by. That will still stay in the home and that will be the prime viewing experience. And then smaller screens will come in to actually deliver the personalized viewing, the catch-up viewing, the news viewing, all those elements where it's not that real-time one-to-one relationship that you really need to have. So we are constantly expanding the number of formats that we have and over time we try to find some commonality in those, create a standard and bring that number down. But as soon as you bring that number down, there's another new channel that's on its way. Some new technology will come about, I have no doubt, I don't know what it is, that will provide yet new content over a new channel and we have to react to that. It is difficult to achieve standards, but the benefit of having those standards means that we have a less chaotic environment and the people who are involved in that environment that is standardised all tend to have a greater economic benefit. So it's a constant play in expanding formats and, and standardising them over and over. I feel that the most important challenge the broadcast industry will face uh, in the near future is that you lack a very strong leader. You have a lot of people who are very tough-minded, but they have all diverse interests and there's no leader. So it's almost like going to a chaos. If you have a strong leader that can lead the team, then I think the future of the broadcast industry will be great. So, can somebody please take charge? Can we try to control things collectively? 
Can we regulate the advance of technology? Of course we can't, but we can do something. We can try to see which way the train is going. Do we all need to have a department of the future with people in it who look forward from the driver's cabin rather than like the rest of us in the back in the caboose looking backwards? What do you think?